All right, so I wasn't even gonna bother filming this. This one runs great right here. No problems at all. This one, it overheats. Um, I know I made the video showing that they were both done, um, but quickly after riding this, it wouldn't go past idle. Um, it's basically the electronics in it telling it to stop and it was getting too hot and I could feel it too. The head was really hot. So I took this line which goes and sucks water in and then this goes into the water box and I blew on it and it was clear and I you know used everything I could to clean it out so I'm gonna end up taking this engine out um, but you know wasn't gonna bother recording but thought this might be interesting for you guys to see so let's take this whole engine out that oh shoot oh are you serious does that come off freaking dummy Probably shouldn't have done this by myself, but got it out. So if you look, this is the water box. I mean, there's water, water coming out of it. So water's getting to it. It's just not getting past somewhere and it's not cooling down the head. So let's take this thing apart. What the? It's like a sand type. Seriously? That's incredible. I'm gonna have to blow this whole cooling system out. I have to go through everything. All right. So I just took this second plate off and there's nothing but sand in there no wonder why the thing was overheating I mean come on look at this guys like dude that's why you don't run skis in shallow water I should have just recorded this I freaking just got the exhaust off and it's filled with sand. Come on. This is just insanity. It's filled with sand. Look at look in here. The mud sand in there. That is disgusting. It's the exhaust. Oh. <laughs> you have a sand pile. Look at that. It's even got shells in it, look, it looks like. Look in here. I don't, how, how, that, I've never seen that. I've never even seen that on a video. <laughs> you can see how simple these things are, though. Two cylinders, that's the starter. Yeah, there's not much of anything to And then the brackets, and that's it. And then water pump. That is a sand pump. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. 
Those are dry. Not too much scoring. A little bit of rust, but I'll work with it. As for around the cylinders, yeah. That's bad. I organized the workbench. Thankful for the pegboards. I put everything that I commonly use on here for when I do these videos. And let's see what we're looking at now. So we got the salty, sandy, good old Yamaha. Um, good thing about Yamaha is their engines run in pretty much any condition, which is crazy. They're just very reliable. But we're working on chipping at this away. I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, while I was here, I took the starter off. <coughs> the starter had been giving me trouble on this one anyway, so I went ahead and ordered a new starter. Then here's the muffler. The inside's dirty, but that's not what I care about. I care about all of the places where the water flows through to cool it. Um, two of them were completely blocked, and I got those taken care of. And then we got part of the water box here and here. As you can tell, I got most of that corrosion out. I just let them soak in a bucket of vinegar and it actually took a, about a day and it took most of the corrosion off and then I hit it with this brass brush and then I washed it in the water thoroughly to get the rest of the you know vinegar off because it's acidic and it was good to go. And then this guy so here's the head. Um, I don't even think it's worth replacing if you look if I can get it close enough, you can see where it's chipped right there. It's got some scoring right there. And the reason for that is because water comes in here and it exits through here, right? But it also goes around here. You can tell the way it's molded. There's probably a ton of corrosion in here. And if you look through this part, it's where water's supposed to come in at and flow through. Um, I couldn't get it to come out. And I stuck all sorts of stuff down in there and it's just so corroded and I can't even see what's in there So I went ahead and bought one off eBay for 35 bucks. It was a freshwater ski um, It looked really clean. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace the whole head because it's not worth it at that point and then this thing Carburetor is good to go. All that's good to go. So here's all my bolts until it's just a mess old head gasket This thing is in pretty rough shape, but we're gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the rest of these parts. I'm up to trying new suggestions, so we're gonna completely dry them off and use some Goo Gone on these things. This guy's still pretty corroded, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop it back in the vinegar. It's been an incredi incredibly tedious project. Um, I'm still just trying to get all this corrosion out. These little spots. I'm gonna do the best I can. I, I can't be too OCD on this. Um, just worried that one little piece of corrosion could block the cooling system. But once I get this thing back together and these as clean as possible, I'm gonna run the ski hard and just pump water through it and run it for you know an hour or so full throttle. So, but I've been Basically dipping it in this thing of vinegar. It's been sitting in there for like eight hours. Take it out and use a brass brush. So here's the different parts of the water box. Um, they're about as clean as I'm gonna be able to get them. I'm sure I could do a little more, but they look a lot better than what they were. Um, here is the engine. I got some crap in there, but there's no scoring on the cylinder walls, so that's a good thing. And you can see I put paper towels in there because those are two exhaust inlets that come from the cylinder walls just to protect them. But yeah, this thing is a lot more work than I expected, but it's all right. We're going to get this thing up and running. I'm just waiting for the rest of the parts to get here. Um, they should get here within a week. 
But uh, I'm just going to throw this video together and give you guys an update on how it's going. Also got a new starter on the way. All the bolts that I got to figure out what goes where. I didn't label anything, but luckily I record everything so I can go back and kind of get a judge off of that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.